Probably one of the most stressful tests high schoolers have to take. We're talking about the SATs. This Saturday, millions of students from around the world will be taking the test digitally. So how can you make sure your child does well? Joining us now to discuss is Sean Patel, CEO of Prep Expert. Sean, good to see you. How are you? Good to be here. Thanks for having me. So what are some tips students should know before Saturday? Yeah, so this SAT is going to look a lot different than what students are used to. In 2024, the SAT is going digital for the very first time. So there's new content, new question types, and a new format that they need to get familiar with. A few quick tips I'd love to share with students is on the writing section, avoid the word being. That's never going to be the right answer. On the reading section, avoid the word always. That's never going to be the right answer. And on the math section, make sure you get familiar with this new digital calculator that they're offering on the digital SAT. Where were you when I needed you back in the day? <laughs> Those little tips right there probably saved me about 200 points. <laughs> that on top of the getting the name part right. Um, let me ask you this. So, you know, the SAT is a lot of talk the last couple of years, especially post-pandemic, that it's not required and people were moving away from SAT scores, college admissions, I should say, and ACT scores. But what do you say? The test is back uh, and how important is it still? Yeah, there's been a lot of confusion over the past few years with the pandemic and test optional college admissions policies, but the SAT is back and back in a big way. It's being reinstated at universities almost every single week. We've been seeing universities such as Cornell in New York, Harvard, Yale, MIT, Dartmouth, Brown, Caltech, University of Texas at Austin, and dozens more reinstating the test. On top of that, parents and students who are listening, you got to take the SAT or ACT because it helps you become eligible for billions of dollars in merit-based scholarship opportunities for your kids. So hearing all of this, um, it, it, it's got to, I, I guess, the, the stress just it kind of boils inside a lot of these students who are putting so much on this result from Saturday. What can you tell them to help manage that stress? Oh, yeah, the stress is a big, big issue for many parents and students. So quick tips for Saturday for the students that are taking it. One, don't drink any caffeine or energy drinks. That'll make your heart race during the test. I made that mistake myself the first time I took it. Uh, second, make sure you hide the timer during the exam. You can do that on this new digital SAT so you don't have a clock ticking down. You'll still get a five minute warning. And third, don't focus on the outcome of the test. Just really focus on each question and answering it to the best of your ability. Now, you said it's gone totally digital right now. So obviously, number two pencils are out. Results, will you get the results faster now? Or do you still have to wait the, the weeks like you did back when I took the SAT, however many years ago that was? You'll get the results a lot faster. It's a couple weeks instead of like uh, three, four weeks like it was before. And on top of that, this digital SAT is the most student-friendly version of the SAT ever created. It's a shorter exam, only about two hours, only 98 questions instead of 200 questions like when you and I took wow. it. Um, on top of that, there's no obscure vocabulary. The passages are shorter. You can use a calculator on all the math questions. You couldn't do that on the paper-based SAT. So students are going to love this new version of the digital SAT. Sure, it sounds like, it sounds like a breeze right now. I want to read you. Um, <laughs> it, it sounds like with all, with all the changes, though, people could really use the help of someone like yourself. What kind of tips and what kind of uh, a tutelage did you provide or does your company provide for kids looking to get that step up in the SATs? Yeah, so you definitely want to still learn a lot of the techniques and strategies to ace the exam, and that's what we do at Prep Expert. I shared some of them at, earlier in the segment, but for parents and students who are looking for more, we offer six-week online digital SAT courses. You can find out more about our schedules and offerings at prepexpert.com. Hey, Sean, thanks so much. We really appreciate you providing a little bit of uh, tips on the <laughs> for free <laughs> for people out there. So we uh, we thank you for that. Good to talk with you. Yeah, and good luck to all the parents and students. Thanks for having me, Chris.